Hi, I'm Bill, and if this is the first time dropping into my channel, welcome. Today is Wednesday, the 25th of October, 2023. And uh, I'm going to show you what's in the box recently. If you saw my uh, most recent video, I mentioned that I'm going to be purchasing the um, Eagle 5S. I just want to give a big shout out to Agena Astro. I placed this order about midday, Monday, the 23rd. And when I got home at uh, about noon today, it was on my doorstep. That is phenomenal. One thing I noticed about Agena Astro, and then we'll move on uh, into the video, is they get things out the door quickly. So if it's in stock, they don't waste any time getting it out the door. So thank you, Agena Astro. Once again, just phenomenal uh, service. So I highly recommend Agena Astro to anyone um, that's looking for something that's within their current stock or even if it uh, goes on back order. The other thing is I'll be coming out with a video. I broke out what it costs me for a night of imaging at a dark site. And uh, I will tell you this much, it's expensive. My CFO, my wife, has made mention of that. Uh, she's not complaining about the cost, but she just is aware of it. And uh, she wanted me to know that she is aware of it. So uh, again, a lot of what I do going forward is trying to maximize uh, what I get out of each uh, dark site uh, trip. So anyway, um, Let's start with the Eagle 5S. Let's see what's in the box. Now, I'll probably uh, butcher the name. Uh, I say it's Prima Luce Labs. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly or not. But here is the Eagle 5, and I probably should have got some scissors or something to work with here. Um, I like the color. It also comes uh, with a password, which I'm not going to show here, but it says access password for your Eagle. So that's good to know. This is going to, going to go up here. I don't know if it's in the frame, but it's going to sit on the top rail of my Edge HD8, which I have up there. Um, I'll do a video on all the ports. It's an i3 uh, Intel uh, processor. Got a lot of USB ports. Has a very heavy duty power, por uh, power ports. Has an eye that will give you a reading, a sky quality meter reading. Uh, and I believe you can Put that reading into your file naming within Nina. I'll find it out. Oh, okay. Comes with uh, one GPS antenna. So, significance of having that, I guess if I'm out at a remote site, dark site and there's no phone coverage and I don't have like my Garmin inReach Mini, uh, this will uh, let me know what the GPS coordinates are for the site. plastic wrap is winning. Okay, so here is um, 
the 12 volt DC connected, it's going to go into my Jackery. Uh, that's the power stations that I use. And then this heavy duty uh, power cable uh, will go on this port here. 12 volt DC in. Uh, says a max rating of 16 amps. I think my Jackeries are around 12. So that comes in the box. Okay, and as expected, here's uh, two antennas for the uh, Wi-Fi 6 that will mount on these two ports here. Now, in talking to Filippo at Prima Lucia Labs, he said he's getting about 35 meters uh, range on his uh, Eagle. So that'll be one of the first things that I'll check out. Patrick uh, Kerrigan and I had a call today and we were talking about the unit and one of his interests is understanding what is the range of the Wi-Fi. And uh, so I'll, I'll do that test and share that information with him. And then um, just a bag of a bunch of different um, fasteners. All right, so that's what's in that box. Now, since I do run with dew heaters from time to time, I decided to purchase the Eco. This is the Eco. I don't know how well it's going to show here, but you'll see it in future videos. And this will uh, mount somewhere. Um, not sure yet where this is going to mount, but it will ride somewhere here uh, on the um, Eagle 5. And this is what will uh, help me understand the environmentals, what is the temperature, what is the humidity, and then it will also then help manage the dew heater settings um, for the dew heaters uh, that I use. Actually, I just have one really on the uh, Edge HD8, which is a uh, ring uh, on the front of the, uh, of the mount. And then with the Echo, or maybe it's eco. Um, there's a USB cable that will connect the eco to the Eagle 5S. And then there are two uh, temperature probes or temperature ses uh, sensors. So uh, that's it. Now I did buy a power cable. Um, this one is manufactured by Prima or Prima Luce Labs. Uh, this will be the one to power my EQ6R Pro. It's designed to mate with that. And then um, I bought a, another um, 8 amp uh, cable and this one will attach to my ZWO uh, camera. So um, I may get an additional power cable uh, if I find that I need it, but for right now, I think that's going to be enough to get me going. So uh, that's what you get with the uh, there's a two little uh, two little grub screw, screws here um, that came with the uh, Echo. So this is the um, Eagle Five, and as you see, there's a lot of uh, ways or holes, threaded ways, uh, threaded holes uh, to mount things. Uh, some people mount their actual telescope on top of this. They put this in their uh, saddle. So I'll sort all that out, but I think for right now, it's just gonna go on the top rail of my HHD8. And judging from the weight of it compared to my B-Link U59 and the Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box Advance, um, this is going to help me with 
um, better balancing uh, the Edge uh, HD8. Um, so I'll have this forward on that top rail and that'll actually be a benefit as well. So, all right, well, I just wanted to share with you what is in the uh, box for the Eagle 5S and the Echo. I thought I might as well document it uh, since this is the beginning of a new journey for me. And then I will be doing follow-on videos as I get things configured, show you what the interface looks like as I start to learn about it. And again, the first thing I'm going to work on uh, this afternoon is understanding how do I get Wi-Fi going uh, because this acts as an access point, but it can also connect to another network, I believe. So these are all things I just need to figure out, and I'll share that information with you as I go forward. All right, that's about it. If you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. As always, like, share, and subscribe. And if you would like to help support the channel, be sure and check out my Amazon links in the video description. If you happen to use one of those links to go to Amazon, even though you may not buy the item at the end of that link, but you purchase something else, I will get affiliate marketing credit for that. Uh, I do get paid if you use one of those links, and uh, I like that. So if you're an Amazon shopper and you're open to using my links to go to Amazon, uh, that can be a lot of help to this channel. Other than that, if you like this kind of content, Please give it a thumbs up. As always, like, share, and subscribe. And wherever you may be in the world, I hope you're having, looking forward to some good weather uh, for those times you want to go out and image. Other than that, see you next time.